r slash ask reddit people that work on movie sets what are the most entitled celebrities you have ever met i have a friend who works on a lot of movies so she has worked with a ton of people from what i remember here are her thoughts on different people jake gyllenhaal's method acting style and requirements are annoying and strict so he can often be rude and hard to work with Lawrence Fishburne initially comes off as a dick and absolutely hates when you call him Larry, but he can swiftly turn that around and be a great guy and your best friend. Keanu Reeves is everything amazing you'd expect him to be, but because he is so personable he doesn't have too many intimate one-on-ones with people. Emma Watson is a bit self-involved. Matt Damon is super cool, funny, and intelligent. James McAvoy is stellar to work with apparently, she also has a huge crush on him. M. Night Shyamalan is apparently an amazing father and one of the best bosses to work for. I've heard several stories about the work he puts in to being a great family man. 50 Cent is goddamned hilarious. He was hanging out on set with my friend and a white girl in a kimono walked by and he yelled out oh to do. They got the Asian jump off in here. Russell Crowe is apparently super down to earth but he can get a bit isolated if you catch him while he's focusing. Christian Bale acts kind of like Kino, but he also can be so focused on his work that he kind of forgets to interact with people. Ryan Gosling is apparently hilarious and lovely. Brian Cranston is also what you'd expect. He's a super nice guy who acts kind of like a father figure to most people. So to answer your question, Jake Gyllenhaal and Emma Watson are the worst I've heard about so far. Also a TV set, James Corden is an absolute donkey, not the funny happy-go-lucky guy you see on TV. My favorite James Corden moment was when Jimmy Kimmel won a round of spill your guts or fill your guts by asking Corden to name one cameraman in the room right now. That's the kind of joke that lets you know they hate each other. Which is weird, cuz normally jerks get along. Not that it's any surprise to anyone, but Michael Serra is a huge donkey. I watched so many young musicians come up to him during the Sex bob on tour come up to him to talk about music or gush about how he inspired them, only for him to either brush them off completely, ask them why they are talking to him, or just have security come take them away. Total dick. Yup worked at wine shop. At closing we are inning one last guy out, doors locked. Sarah comes to door, disappointed we are closed, we can't sell anymore. Guy gives Sarah his own wine, knowing he could not get more tonight so nice then asks for a picture for his kid. Sarah says no what a donkey. <laughs> Fadun away, Fadun away, and I cannot stress this enough. Fadun away, I've had dealings with her personally and can vouch for her intipludness and nastiness, but my friend who works on movie sets has horror stories extremely demanding and also picky she brings her scales with her everywhere and will make anyone catering weigh it up in front of her she has a no eye contact rule which must never be disobeyed and she also yells and screams when things do not go her way while eye contact takes two to tango so she can go suck a donkey if she's not playing by her own rules my friend has worked on dr phil for years he has a no eye contact rule and is apparently one of the nastiest, most self-absorbed people in the industry. The no eye contact rule is because he doesn't want people to realize he's cross-eyed and his eyes are too close together. Source, I'm out of work and get depressed in the afternoon. Is that why whenever he looks at guests or into the camera he tilts his chin down or leans forward? Lmao. I know a guy who worked on the new movie coming out 21 Bridges. He said Chadwick Boseman was insufferable. On the other hand, he says J.K. Simmons was super friendly. I've heard the best way to get on J.K. Simmons good side is to have pictures of Spider-Man. My dream in life is to just sidle up to J.K. Simmons all hush hush like and hand him a manila envelope full of pictures of Spider-Man. This is now my dream. I haven't worked on movie sets, but I have worked in music. JLo and Justin Timberlake were by far the most entitled. They threw fits like children and were just overall very unpleasant. Taylor Swift was nice, but her entourage was, at times, unbearable. They had a holier than their attitude, and her manager acted like a damn dictator. Taylor stopped to take a picture with some employees from one of the restaurants providing food for the artists. 
Immediately after, her manager yelled to one of her staff members to go over there and make sure they don't use that photo on anything related to the restaurant, social profiles, website, etc. I get it, you have to protect her likeness as a brand, but you don't have to be a giant donkey about it. There is no need to berate and threaten some part-time 19-year-old girl serving food. Chris Brown's entourage was incredibly annoying when it came to the gifting suite. They all wanted to be let in, even though it's just for the artists. Some random ass entry level label rep expected to be walked to the front of the line, she wasn't even allowed in. His manager even threatened to not have Chris walk through if there was going to be a problem. That didn't work. But in general, the less famous they are, the more entitled they act. The worst offenders are always someone with one hit that you know was only popular because they rode the coattails of whatever trend is hot. They buy into their own hype. I met Johnny Depp, Kira Knightley and Orlando Bloom at a Pirates premiere. I'm a nobody and Johnny Depp treated me as such. Didn't talk to a single person and had security around him the whole time. Not the best impression. But Orlando Bloom and Kira Knightley were really kind. Orlando Bloom even took my phone from me to get that perfect selfie angle his words. I didn't even ask for a picture haha. So kind. Honestly, Kira Knightley was carrying the pirates movies. A true truth teller you are. Not entitled, but I was an extra on God's Not Dead. The classroom scene was sweltering because of all the lights. Me and some other friends were pretty miserable and all of a sudden we hear wow, it's hot back here, and turn around to see Kevin Sorbo. He ended up talking with us for about 15 to 20 minutes before he had to get back to work. Super chill dude who seemed very much like a normal person. 10 out of 10 were chill with Hercules again. Disappointed! <laughs> know someone that is close to Robert Downey Jr. Downey is a really nice guy that is super focused on his family. This guy can pick who he works with and has been with Downey a few years now and says he's one of the best guys in Hollywood. Cheryl Crow and Bill Maher are the only people I've heard him say are just awful. I've asked about the Avengers and he said overall they're nice. Third hand here so who knows. But a person I know has worked with Kevin Smith. During the filming of Live Free or Die Hard Day, we are shooting Kevin's scenes. I guess the call time was 7am. Everyone is ready. Lights on. Sound check. Yada yada. No Bruce Willis. Turns out he was at a nearby bar having mimosas. The aide that went to get him was told I'm John McLean. What are they gonna do? Fire me. Or something to that effect. To Kevin's estimation 90k ish dollars were wasted in pay, rental fees and what not waiting on Bruce to be ready to go. I was worried you were gonna say something bad about Kevin Smith cause he seems like a super cool dude in all the interviews I've seen of him. I used to work in the industry for a while. Asked some colleagues about the worst people they've worked with. More than one said Steven Segel was a grade A donkey. Another said Mike Myers was a nasty piece of work. Segel brought his mom into the hospital where my ex-wife worked. He parked his car in the ambulance only area and refused to remove it, citing his authority as a special county deputy sheriff. That's BS, because a real cop wouldn't even do that knowing that it is a huge safety violation. Cops park in ambulance spots all the damn time at Hartford Hospital in court. I went to school with a guy who wound up co-starring in a feature film. I saw him in the bar one night. He walked up to this table of women and said, so, who wants my autograph? He even had a pen. The women had no idea who he was because the movie he'd been in was some short run B movie nobody had even heard of. Insecure people who gain any sort of fame and recognition are the most cringy of all. I'm tempted to try this sometime. Just ask people if they want my autograph. If they ask who I am, I'll show them a little Yautub video, lol. The man who must say I'm king is no king at all. Tywin Lannister. I try to remember that everyone has bad days and good and my interactions with people on a professional level can be just that a bad day or a good day. But that being said, working with Jonathan Frakes was so wonderful that at the end of our time together, I nearly turned around and said I love you, dad. Everything this kid who grew up wanting to be Commander Ike could hope for. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Make sure to like comment and subscribe for I upload daily and suggest what subreddit I should cover next. Thank you and happy travels.